conservatives are outraged that the Joker has gotten pregnant in the latest Batman comic. Genevieve, my resident comic nerd, what the hell is going on here? So this is fabulous. I love this. This had to be the conclusion to this mm -hmm. episode. So um, Joker wanted to have a kid. He wanted to, to father an heir to his criminal kingdom. A lot of conservatives have jumped right to the right to the end result of saying, oh my God, Joker's a transgender man. Let's cancel DC. So this proves, first of all, conservatives don't read not even comic books. Okay? Because if you can't read the comic book and it's mostly pictures telling the story, then you don't understand. Okay, so here's the deal. Joker was trying to woo Zatanna. Zatanna is a very powerful magician who has the ability to basically use word magic to bring things into being. Zatanna has also been overly sexualized in comics, but we're not going to go into the misogyny of comics right now. But anywho, Joker starts hitting on Zatanna. And basically, once she gets tired of the Joker's business, uses the spell to curse Joker so that no one else will ever have your baby. Now, in magic, word magic especially, the words are important. What happens is that instead of turning him so unappealing to women, Joker became pregnant. So by saying, no one else will ever have your baby, Joker became pregnant with his own baby. The baby actually becomes, is actually a... Um, a living mud blob made out of the shape-shifting uh, supervillain Clayface. And what happens is, is that when Joker gets ready to deliver, he vomits out this mud blob that then transforms into a tiny version of Joker. Now, the conservatives are going crazy, saying that the Joker is trans now. Um, the character is the Joker because pregnant women thinking they're a pregnant man is the definition of a Joker. Who else is sick of this lunacy? So we have conservatives who can't even read a comic book to get the story. Well, and they can't even read a comic book without thinking that there's some there's some plot that's going on against them, some gender plot that's trying to destroy their world. It's it's this it's a whole other level of paranoia that is really surprising. Well, it's not even the paranoia for me. It's the ignorance. I mean, they get mad at drag queens and drag performers reading to kids, teaching them about literacy, and then turn around and they can't even read. This isn't even a full comic book, y'all. This was like a mini section of a comic book. This was like four or five pages, eight pages of panel, and they couldn't even read that. So tell me you don't give a shit about reading if you can't even read a comic 